Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it may be for you. It's Lish. Thank you for checking out my channel. We're back with another Gina Curl update. This time is my three month update post my first Gina Curl retouch. So the main topic during these updates is the length. How long is my hair? And it's kind of hard to pinpoint um, an exact strand and measure it, you know, through time. So we're just gonna get some general measurements as usual. I'm gonna start at the front. So let's just grab one of these chunks here, kind of at the front left side of my face. Okay. I'm going to where I feel the root and then I am pulling the tape measure taut, tight, whatever you wanna call it. And we're at about, what is that, 10? Okay, hold on, let me do it one more time. Yeah, Y'all know I struggle with this. No one has given me a better method, so. <laughs> we're at about eh, 10 and a half. We're at about 10 and a half inches in the front left here. We're gonna grab one that's more so to the right. Let's measure this chunky chunk here. Let's see. The root of the head over here somewhere. Okay, looking at about trying to stretch. Yeah, ten and a half. Actually, eleven. I'm looking at eleven right here. And I'm gonna adjust this one time and one time only because it's really not my battle and it's really stupid anyway. For people that are asking or that want to leave a comment asking about, well, that's basically just a Jared curl. Why did you pay? extra to get a jerry curl because it's basically a jerry curl so no it's not a jerry curl if i wanted a jerry curl i'd get a jerry curl and don't try to leave comments saying you should have got this whatever instead because i'm just gonna block you <laughs> i like to block people because it's kind of like this is this is my journey right who are you to tell me what i should or should not have done exactly this is my world i'm the main character we all the main character of our own little worlds right so you ain't about to stress me out on my channel. Now I'm measuring the hair in my kitchen. I think it was about five and a half. I'm measuring, not that, I'm trying to measure the short pieces back here. I don't know how well you can see that. Mm, 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 mm. We're looking at a ball, whatever I'm touching right here. About there. Eh, it's like five and a fourth. We're looking at about five and a fourth back left kitchen. I'm gonna try the back right. Grab a little curl cluster. Nope. I try to always make sure I'm touching the root of wherever that hair is. And then I bring it down. Looking at a wow. Whatever that is. Almost six, that's five and three fourths. Like I said, this hair is kind of all over the place, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, let's get some longer pieces just in the juicy midsections of my hair. Let's um, start with the left. Just gonna grab some random chunky chunk. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. going to wherever I feel that root being to somewhere somewhere here <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that or not and we're going down to a little past 11 I think where are we at wherever my finger is 11 and a half 11 and a half on the left Now take this juicy chunk wire here, okay? I wish you guys could see that a little bit better. I'm trying. Right about there. Nope, no, no, it's still going. It's a tad bit. Even though it's really hard to see, okay. Basically at 12, that's 12. All right, so those are the 
measurements y'all today specifically for this look i just wet it with water and then i put in a honey mousse um i'll put the honey mousse information in the description box below i feel like every time i do an update i'm using more experimental products so <laughs> instead of giving y'all all these products that i just experiment with every single time i'm just gonna you know try to see what products work for me best before i come back and tell y'all you guys should use this you know my wash day was was it yesterday yesterday morning i think was my wash day so after my wash days i always put my little some sort of leave-in which right now is that honey uh by camille rose leave-in use that and then i go in with my um curling jelly one thing i will say about using these products that have like a lot of honey in it is bees love me and my hair and i do not love bees like that so i have been running from bees <laughs> uh at the pool outside of my place etc like the bees are just like they smell it and, they, and they're like they're curious and like i'm just trying not to get stung like i don't like bugs at all so it's kind of hard you know trying to chill outdoors without having to run around because you're being chased by bees. So anyway, and now we're just gonna um, let y'all visually kind of look at it a little bit better. I'm sitting in my family room right now. So sorry for the weird angle. This is what it's looking like. Okay. Um, I recently had somebody ask about breakage, shedding, and I do shed at a pretty consistent rate. And again, the way you can tell if you're shedding or if it's like breakage is the length of the hair that's coming out. Like if it's a full on, like long piece of hair, that's pretty much shedding. Like it came out the root, right? It didn't break. And it's not like a, you know, small portion of the strand that's breaking off. So for me, it is mainly shedding. And for me, I experience that when I'm in the shower, when it's a wash day and I'm detangling. I don't know if I'm supposed to be finger detangling, but I am and I refuse to not. With the Gina Curl specifically, I think it is very, very important to finger detangle in the shower. I don't know if that's what they tell you to do or not, but it's been working for me. And I've noticed when I first got my Gina Curl, I wasn't doing that for a while. I think I was using combs slash kind of just letting the hair do its thing and I, it's, it's imperative that you do finger detangle because you need to get those knots out so they don't just build on top of each other, right? There was a period of time where I wasn't detangling with my fingers or using a comb. Um, it had been like a week or two. <laughs> this is back when I was first getting used to my Gina Curl. And I went in the shower and like, especially, it's especially important when you are two, three, four months into your Gina Curl and you have all that new growth, all the tangling is gonna happen right up here, right where you have that new growth meeting, you know, the hair you already had coming out your head. And the detangling is serious. Not when you first get your Gina Curl because it's, you know, nice and new and wonderful. But I'm at the three month mark now and I am at the stage where I am finger detangling in the shower with conditioner thoroughly through my hair um, every four days when I have a wash day because I refuse to let my hair get tangled and matted. That's a surefire way to lose your hair. Like, you know, let it get tangled, matted, and don't do anything about it. Of course, it's gonna come out your head. Like, it's gonna break. Like, you're gonna have all these knots that you can't do anything with. You need to make sure that you are not only washing your hair twice a week, like they tell you, because I wasn't listening at first either, but do it, please do it. But you also need to make sure to detangle. If you don't want a finger detangle, then I guess, Whatever method works for you the best, but I finger detangle. And I am very happy with my hair right now. Okay? <laughs> um, so, I keep saying that. Um, dee, 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 dee. What else can I say about my Gina Curl? Gina Curl. One thing I'll say about the Gina Curl that I wish wasn't the case is I wish we woke up like this. We do not wake up like this. We wake up with the hair flat to whatever side that we sleep on. And I am a side sleeper. Specifically, I am a predominantly right side sleeper. Um, and I wear a bonnet. So when I wake up, it's real flat slash, you know, up here looking crazy inside the bonnet. And given, all you need to do is add water for it to back down and then whatever products you want to add. But I, I really do wish I just woke up like this. I wish I just woke up and it was just like, Yes, good morning world, you know, and just went about my day. <laughs> but 
but I guess, you know, it's not that much of a problem to complain about. It's it's cool. It's cool. It's cool, Gina. In the future, it's already been something I decided for myself that once I do get tired of the Gina curl, which it'll probably be years and years and years from now, I'm gonna cut my hair. Um, and for me, that's not a problem because I've always wanted to get a pixie cut just like later on in life. And so right now I'm having like my fun phase where I'm experimenting with this Gina curl and letting it grow and seeing what styles I can do with it once it goes past the bob stage, you know? For those that are thinking about getting a Gina curl, that is something you might wanna consider though. Like what are your plans post Gina curl? Cause it is somewhat expensive and it is something you need to do twice a year. So at some point, if you do decide you no longer want to do this, what are you planning to do with your hair? You don't necessarily need to cut it, but another option could be you end up doing straight styles. Um, and you start applying heat to your hair. Given if you apply heat to the Gina curl, it's not gonna revert back to the curl, it'll just be straight hair. But that's an option too where you don't necessarily need to cut your hair. That's all I have for y'all today. I'm gonna let y'all go. See y'all next Wednesday, bye.